everybody. Welcome to Cooking with Sally J. Cuteness just woke up, so Beepaw will get her. Beepaw is our name for Grampy. We don't say Grampy here, we say Beepaw and Mimi. M-E-M-E, -M -E. I think I said that the other day. So today, what we're going to make is homemade mac and cheese, my mother-in-law style. And this has been a favorite for years in my house. I had a daycare for many, many years. Um, it's just been the last four, I think, that I haven't run a daycare, just take care of my own little grandchild. Um, but the kids all love it, and I've had different requests to make it. So the ingredients you saw in the first picture, and of course you saw the picture of the boiling macaroni. So you're gonna need a one pound box of elbow macaroni, two, one pound, <laughs> my husband's sitting on the floor in the other room and he's going, <laughs> one pound of cheddar cheese and grated. And it is better to get it fresh and grate it yourself. I hate grating it. I usually ask one of the grandchildren to do it or Mr. Wonderful to do it, but I did do it today. And you're gonna need one stick of butter. So I chopped the butter up and with one of the things that you chopped up, you need to just, uh, one or two of the things, probably two, need to butter your bowl. It's a beautiful day here today. The sun is shining and I had an awesome walk. I got to see one of our young people from, he moved away and he was surveying. It was so nice to see him today, Stephen Hillbrook, if he watches my videos. Okay, so I'm touching my face and I don't mean to do that. I'm working on that, you guys. My hair, my face, my nose, that whole thing, but I do wash, so. Um, so then you're just gonna take a cup, a measuring cup, one cup, and you're gonna just put a heaping thing of macaroni. Then you're just gonna take some cheese and put it on top of that. And a couple of sticks of, a couple of swatches of the butter. And then just sprinkle some salt and salt and some pepper. Okay, so you're gonna keep doing this till you're out of macaroni, but be careful with your cheese. Okay, so the second layer I used actually two scoops. And you don't wanna use a ton of cheese in between your layers because you're gonna mix it up anyway and you need enough for the top. All right, butter. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. This is the best way. But I have a tendency just to throw it all in together, mix it all up, because you're gonna mix it up anyway, and then top it. But I'm showing you how she did it, and her way was best. I typically have a bigger bowl too, but the other thing I'm gonna tell you, I can't remember if that bowl exploded in the oven, something, I was making mac and cheese one day and it exploded in the oven because my dish was too cool. The milk was cold. That's why it's important that your macaroni is still warm when you do it, if you do it in a pirate's dish. But you need to have an oven safe dish to put it in. Salt and pepper. cheese, last two things of butter, salt and pepper, and then you're going to take your cup of milk and you're just going to pour it over the top. I mean, there's nothing difficult about it. As far as macaroni and cheeses go, I do like this, but it doesn't like me, so I don't eat it. I make it for the grandkids and for Bruce, and Crystal loves it. My group, all my kids love it. Um, you just mix that in, you incorporate your milk. I remember eating macaroni and cheese in grade school, and it was like, ugh, it was awful. 
This isn't awful. This is very good. Okay? So once you get that all mixed in really good, you just take the rest of the cheese that you have and pour it over the top. Or pour it, you know, sprinkle it over the top. So it's really pretty. Okay, so this is what it'll look like. And my bowl's nice, it's still warm to touch it. So it's okay to put it in your oven. You have your oven already on at 350. And everything's outside the cheese is pre-cooked, so 350 for 30 minutes and it's good. The cheese needs to be melted good on the top and it, it'll be bubbly inside. So I hope you enjoyed our segment of Mum Blakeney's Homemade Macaroni and Cheese. I should have said Mother-in-Law Blakeney because I'm a Blakeney too, but my Mother-in-Law Blakeney. I talk too much, people. Anyway, I hope you have a good day. Hope you um, go to my YouTube and click on the little bell to subscribe and go to my Facebook page, Cooking with Sally J, and like it, and the recipe will be there. Have a great day.